All right, good, good, good day, everyone. Uh, another little project that I made. Uh, I had this this one pondering in my head for a little while. It's a ZVS driver, which is going through the following schematic, which is, can be found on the internet. Just type ZVS, ZVS uh, driver, you'll find the circuit. It's uh, very easy to make. And uh, Maker J had actually one question for me asking about the MOSFET. Technically, any end-channel MOSFET would do the will do the the job perfectly. Uh, the more amps you can get out of those, the better it is. So right now, I have this little transfo. It's been taking off of a, an inverter, so it takes 12 volt and boost it up to 120 volt. And I have here a uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see. Oops, 40 watt incandescent light bulb. Just to show you that uh, this thing can actually put quite a load. So right now my trusty power supply is at 6.9 volt. And the circuit is running. And on standby it's drawing very, very little uh, amperage. And good good thing it's this little inductor here. Which I will actually uh, include in the circuit later on. Which is actually this one right there. It's actually quite important to have one there. Uh, if you don't have any, let me just short it. It still work, but look at that amp draw. I'm at six volt. I'm standing at almost half an amp with no load. So it's actually good to have it there. Oop! We can hear it screaming now. Ah, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the load. I'm going to make it easy. So right now I'm at 6 volt. And of course, here we go. And at 12 volt, it's quite bright. And we are standing at 4.21 amp. If we make a rough calculation here 12 volt by times 4 amp it's about 40 something watt so it's not it's not super efficient of course it's an incandescent light bulb but just to show you that uh, it actually does work Ooh, it's coming bright out and the inductor at the the beginning won't change uh, won't change the once once it's load if it's actually uh, if it's there or not uh, it will work the same it's just when you remove the load it actually drop down now I'm brought about to 9 volt and it's been the MOSFET they're like well they're a little warm these uh, MOSFET that I have are actually came out of the exact same inverter and can take up to 130 watt so technically I can draw 130 watt out of these. Of course, the MOSFET might quite uh, might begin to uh, warm up a bit. And also there's a little capacitor here in the circuit, which is the capacitor right there. Uh, I didn't even notice if it actually makes a difference. I just add one because it says you need one in the circuit. But it's very, very tiny. I think it's a 10 nanofarad, 100 volt one. So, uh, here we go. Thanks for watching.